it's a birthday party. Nobody else gave me a birthday party, so I gave myself one. <laughs> and you're all, I believe, are going to enjoy the music. Uh, they, they did put up a big dance floor. So those that are able, not including me, make sure you do go ahead and dance. I'll, as we move along, I'll introduce you to my friends. Uh, I played with all of them uh, at some time in my life. And uh, a couple of them have played with my group over the years. Uh, it is New Orleans Swing, and it will give you a, a little jump in your step. Uh, so I'm going to just turn it over to them. Michael, uh, it's all yours. Okay, well, first of all, we are going to perform the very most requested song ever written. It was written back in 1873, and it's called Happy Birthday. <laughs> so I was thinking now, who, uh, who else has birthdays on this uh, fabulous day? Well, um, let's see, Shakespeare. I think he's 483 years old today. James Buchanan, our 15th president of the United States, his birthday. But some more famous people, um, someone like, uh, let's see, what was it, um, Sandra Dee's birthday, the Six Million Dollar Man's birthday. So there's a lot of, a lot of famous and rich people, but nobody is famous and rich as John is with all his friends. So let's all join in and sing Happy Birthday to John Hegedus. Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. I forgot. I forgot it's my birthday already. Forgot it was your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start things off. This is a tune from 1956 by Louis Prima, and it's called Jump, Jive, and Wail. <laughs> Jump, jive, and when you know you got it. Jump, jive, when you know you got it. Jump, jive, and when you know you got it. Jump, jive, and when you know you got Jump, jive, when you know you got Jump, jive, when you know it away. Mama's in the back, learning how to jive and wail. Mama's in the backyard, learning how to jive and wail. Papa's in the kitchen, doing his fine meal. You gotta jump, jump, and then you know you gotta jump, jump, and then you know you gotta jump, jump, and then you know you gotta jump, 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 Nothing but a male. The woman is a woman. Jerry ain't nothing but a male. He plays that very sax. He loves to wail. You gotta jump, child. And you know 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 you gotta jump, child
without introducing these fine musicians. From the left, Jerry Epperson. Thank you, John. Steve Lilly. Yeah. And, and a crazy drummer up there. I have to say that because I used to play by John Gillick. And naturally, Michael Lacey. Leading. We, we got a couple of unusual stuff coming up a little later on, uh, and I'll mention it as we go along, but uh, we'll let them go ahead and play. Mike. All right. Well, we're going to invite everybody to do an all skate and dance on this one. This is called Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans?
Thank you.
Whoa. If that don't make you hungry for a taco, I don't know what will. My goodness. That was a little tune by Dean Martin called Sway. John, you got something to say? I see you looking at your microphone. I tell you, it's hell marrying into a big family. These are mostly from my wife's side. Some of them came from Portland, Oregon, so they're not all Missourians. You'll see CD on the tables. Those are gifts. And a little later on, you're going to be able to hear a, a new composition composed by our pianist. And I'll, I'll have to tell you a little story about that. Michael composed a song, and he had it copyrighted. Now, if you're not familiar with that, once it's copyrighted, and if it's played on any station, the originator of the, of the piece uh, gets a percentage of the money. Well, he found out that uh, every time it, his piece is played, he'll get a quarter. No, John, I have to pay a quarter. <laughs> well, okay, it's so he's waiting. He's waiting for the quarters to come in because it, it's a good song. And he's pestering me, naturally, uh, because I had all the money. <laughs> and every time we went out to play, he said, any of my quarters come in? And I said, no, not yet. He says, well, you know, I, I deserve it. I said, yes, you do. I said, well, I think I can fix that. Uh, we don't sell them anymore. We give them away. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about getting any quarters. So, so those on, on the table are the giveaways. Uh, and please take one along, and there's more in the back. Uh, if you have a friend or somebody who likes a little New Orleans jazz. And so be my guest, and you can throw it away if you don't like it. But uh, he's still looking for quarters. Thank you. So I think it's a good time for you to play your song. Oh, Michael. okay. Well, okay. All right. And he sings, too. John, we'll have to get together and revise that story. <laughs>
Isn't that horn section just something else? I'm telling you, wow, those guys are on fire. Yeah, what do you want? What, you want to do it now? I'm sorry, right now. Okay, so you want to hear that song now? John wants to hear John now with a, a signature song, John Gillick does like nobody else can. And it's one of John's favorite songs. I think, it, I think it's a polka, isn't it? Yeah. No, no. John, you tell him. I, uh, I like for you all to, to listen closely, and especially my family, to sit down. Because they're... We're going to have a special song, yeah, yeah, yeah. which <clears throat> always caused me to throw away my sticks. But I'd like them to sit down because you won't hear this too often in the United States. Uh, so I'm going I'm to say a little bit afterwards, but go ahead, Michael.
John Gillick, ladies and gentlemen, it just doesn't get any better than that. John's the only guy up here on this stage that doesn't have to go to the Y to work out for cardio. Right? <laughs> now you know why I threw my sticks away. One of the finest you'll ever hear. Great job. He, he. <laughs> he had to be a John, too.
just a Saturday dance I heard the crowd on the floor My fans ask about you I don't get around much anymore I thought I'd go to the club John, I said, why for? My baby, she ain't with me So I don't get around much anymore Darling, I guess that my mind's just a case mm, Nevertheless, I see a boat memory I've been invited on dates But I don't get right for My life is kind of lonesome without my baby Cause I don't get around much anymore A song that was written right in St. Louis back in the Todland year of 1904, and it's called Bill Bailey. Won't you please come on? Mm -hmm. Won't you come home, to Bailey? Won't you come home? I miss the whole night long. I do the cooking, Steve said I pay the rent. I know I've done you wrong. Remember that rainy evening? I kicked you out with nothing but a fine new car. And I know I'm to blame. Sure, ain't that a shame? I do Come on home. Mm -hmm. 
side. You want to come home, baby? Baby, you want to come home? Honey, I know, I know, I've done you wrong. I'll do the cooking. I'll pay the rent. Trying to get it down, know I've done her wrong. Remember that man in the evening? I paid you out. Honey, you wait, never gonna find you home. Well, I know I'm to blame. You know that shame. You pay. You pay. Me. Come on home. about those guys over there. I think they get a hubba, hubba, hubba. Mason <sighs> Street Blues. Okay. Steve, are you praying back there? Well, we're going to do one more song, and then we're going to take a short break. How are you guys going to do it?
Terry Epperson, Steve Hurley, John Gillick. We'll be right back, folks. Don't touch that dial.
of you guys are ready. <coughs> Have alarm. As you would wish. Yeah. Hey. Hi, hey, absolutely. <laughs>
a new tune called Avalon. It had to be you It had 
want to be you I wander around I find a find Somebody who Could make me be true Could make me feel good Even be glad to be sad. Thinking of you, oh, some others I've seen just might never be known. 